Johnny here for Johnny's Car Care and Advice. So today I'm asking the big question, the one that seems to be hard to answer, and that's how fast is the new 2021 Ford Bronco going to be? Now, of course, uh, I'm talking about the two-door and four-door models that have yet to come out that are scheduled more for late spring or summer. Uh, so in today's video, I'm going to be covering how fast that these vehicles should be. And I'm going to have to use a bit of common sense mixed with some math to figure out how fast these vehicles are going to be because so far on Ford.com and across uh, the various reviews I was reading, I just could not find how fast these vehicles um, have been confirmed to be. So we'll work on a bit of uh, math and common sense and we'll get to the bottom of this in just a short moment. covering the big question, the question that doesn't seem to have an answer yet, and that's how fast is a 2021 Ford Bronco going to be? What kind of acceleration are we going to get? Now, acceleration always seems to be measured in a 0 to 60 mile per hour time or 0 to 100 kilometer per hour time. Uh, so that's what we're going to be using as a base of measure, and that's what we need when using our common sense and mathematical data from both the Ranger and the one F-150. Now, calculating the speed of acceleration of the 2.3 liter four-cylinder engine on the Bronco is actually gonna be fairly simple. Just a bit of common sense, uh, and that common sense dictates on a few points. The first of those points is that the Ford Ranger, we already know how fast it is, and the new Bronco is using the Ford Ranger platform. Now, there could be a slight difference in acceleration time from the Ranger because, you know, the Bronco is going to be just a little bit higher than the, the Ranger and uh, a little bit wider, not much, and probably not enough to really make much of a difference when it comes to overall speed. Now, of course, there will be a little extra wind friction uh, when accelerating, uh, and that will have a bigger impact on high speeds, but on lower speeds, going up to 100 kilometers an hour or 60 miles per hour, it should be very minimal. So, you know, the other two factors that we have uh, is that the new Bronco, whether you get the two door or the four door, if you get it with the 10 speed automatic transmission and the 2.3 liter engine, uh, it's a straight four cylinder engine, you know, it's the same engine that the Ranger uses and it's the same transmission that the Ranger uses. And, you know, third factor, the first factor we mentioned, it's the same platform, it's the same frame. And, you know, I will talk about that frame in another video, um, but that frame is gonna be, you know, really great for off-roading um, because it's a boxed-in frame. But, you know, getting back to acceleration time, the Ford, 2020 Ford Ranger accelerates from zero to 60 miles per hour in 6.1 seconds, tested by car and driver. So at 6.1 seconds, using the same motor, the same transmission, and the same platform, you know, we can have a pretty intelligent guess, uh, very fair to assume that it, the Bronco will also have a zero to 60 mile per hour time of 6.1 seconds. Now, of course, that could be a little bit off, a, a very slight difference because of wind resistance on the Bronco, being that the Bronco is higher and wider, and I'll get into those differences in another video where I cover dimensions, but it's similar enough to assume that the time is gonna be very, very similar. Now, of course, they could, the mapping that they use on the transmission, uh, the mapping could be different, but then again, I would think that that'll make a small difference. What might make quite a bit of difference is if you get the Sasquatch package. I'm thinking those really big, huge 35 inch tires uh, definitely could affect uh, acceleration times. But uh, that, we you know, that's a little bit too hard to, to measure out. Uh, and you know, if it does come down to something, it's, you know, it's not gonna be one second. I would think that it can maybe make a difference of 0.1 of a second. Um, but you will really need to wait for the vehicle to show up and be tested uh, live in real life 
to really know what the difference of those tires will make. But if we're comparing, you know, the regular tires on a Bronco versus the regular tires on the Ranger, I think 6.1 second really is that number that we will be using. So now for the hard part. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated and it requires a bit of math and uh, a bit of a formula to figure out what kind of acceleration we're going to get from 0 to 60 miles per hour out of the 2021 Ford Bronco. But the good news is we do have some data that we can use uh, that will make this possible. So the data that you know makes all of this possible is that the F-150 already has a 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine in it. So that's that six cylinder twin turbo. And it's, uh, it's matted to the 10 speed automatic transmission. Now the 2021 Bronco is getting that exact motor and it's getting the same transmission. Uh, it does have uh, you know, less weight and of course taking that weight difference between an F-150 Super Crew with a five and a half foot box and 2.7 liter engine and you're comparing that to the weight of the Bronco when equipped with the same motor and the same transmission, you know, makes all of this possible. So, you know, uh, today I'm going to need my, my notes uh, and I have to put on a collar to do this uh, mathematical work. Uh, and it does, you know, I, I think we really can come down to pretty much almost spot on the numbers that we're going to see come out, you know, in a few months, whether you know it's three months or six months, that's gonna depend on when the Bronco actually hits market, uh, the big Bronco that is. So, you know, the math I used on this is that when we take the weight of the new Bronco on Ford.com, they're saying that it should weigh at about 4,450 pounds. Now, if you take that weight and you divide it by the weight of an F-150, uh, which is give or take, depending on the accessories, 4,750 4, pounds. And then we multiply that by the acceleration speed of the F-150, which is 5.9 seconds. Uh, what you get is 5.53 seconds. So, you know, we took some known factors to figure out the unknown factor, and that's the acceleration time of the 2021 Bronco with a 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine and 10 speed transmission. So, you know, are we gonna end up exactly on 5.53? Once again, that's gonna come down to the gearing uh, and the mapping for that motor and transmission. So that could create a small difference. Something else that could create a small difference as well, of course, is whether you're looking at the base model, which comes on 16s and much smaller tires than, for example, the Wild Track, which is coming with 35 inch tires. Now, if the overall dimension uh, between, or if the overall dimension between the Wild Track and the base model ends up being the same, it should play a factor, the size tire. Um, but if it really is going to be overall, uh, you know, two or three inches higher, usually I looked across a few forms and generally what people use as a good rule of thumb is for every inch of tire that you add beyond the original dimension that you lose 0.1 of a second of acceleration. So, you know, are we going to end up with a zero to 60 time of 5.7 or 5.8 seconds? to reach uh, 60 miles per hour with the wild track model, quite possibly. Um, but that's all gonna depend on whether Ford uses the overall total dimension um, between a base model and a wild track, whether that's gonna be the same or if the wild track with its 35s or the Badlands with its 33s and a half, uh, if there really are gonna be overall a larger dimension, we might lose anywhere from 0.1 uh, per inch, so anywhere from 0.1 of a second all the way to 0.3 of a second. Now, there are of course other factors and the remaining factors are height and width uh, because that creates uh, wind resistance. Now, the Bronco, which is pretty cool to know, it's actually gonna be higher than an F-150. So an F-150, you've got your height coming in at 71.5 inches. 
and the Bronco, depending on the model you get, is going to range between 71.9 inches, so, you know, minute difference, wouldn't make a difference on acceleration, but all the way to 75.2 inches in height for the Wild Track. Um, mind you, the Bronco's on the Ranger platform, and the Ranger platform is making this Bronco a little less wide than an F-150. So, you know, what we gain in height uh, and what that causes in regards to wind restriction, we're probably gonna make up in width. So overall, I'm thinking wind resistance uh, is gonna end up being a very minute, if insignificant factor in the acceleration. So I think 5.53 seconds to get to 100 kilometers an hour is what we are gonna see when they finally do uh, give us numbers on acceleration. So there you have it. Uh, acceleration numbers for the 2.7 liter EcoBoost as well as the 2.3 liter four-cylinder. So uh, I hope this has been helpful and if it has, please like and subscribe.